Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rates certified 11 years in a row. And Alana, sounds like that might come in handy for tomorrow's evening commute. Yeah, that <laughs> snow's coming in again. Definitely, and I thought maybe I could borrow some and put it in southern Utah because by the end of the seven day, they actually get pretty warm. Ooh. So there's some heat there. I know Glenn gets pretty excited when the warmth starts to make a return. Live view from the Cedar City area, so pretty. 45 degrees right now in Iron County. Clear skies, plenty of sunshine. We're also seeing that in the north with the cloud cover over the mountains. It's 40 degrees in Salt Lake, but it doesn't feel that way. With the wind, it makes it feel a little chillier. We've got to talk about snow, okay, because we've got more coming, but take a look at the last several years. We have more snow in Salt Lake City. We've accumulated 60 inches this season for the winter season, 60.6, and that is more since 2016, so a very healthy winter, not a surprise, and we're going to add to that thanks to this system, which sends a series of disturbances our way. As we head into tomorrow, we're going to get snow potential, but right now, clear skies out there in northern, central, and southern Utah. Utah, but look at that increasing cloud cover. It's like knocking on the door. Can I come in? And the answer is yes. We're going to see that in the next several hours. Temperatures dropping to the freezing point by 8 p.m., getting cold at 9, but we will be below freezing but we won't be as cold as we've been due to that cloud cover that's going to increase. We're tracking the snow because yes, the potential is there for the northern half of the state. This evening, it's chilly, but we're dry. Notice that cloud cover moving into the northwest portion of Utah with some snow showers possible as we head into the early morning hours tomorrow. Nothing expected for the commute, but we do get some showery precip that starts to move in by the afternoon. By 2, 3 o'clock, you're going to notice the difference in the northern half of the state. This front comes through and it brings cold air, gusty conditions, and the chance of a burst of snow, a snow squall, not out of the question, which means if you're commuting during this time between 5 and 7, there's a chance you could run into some dropping visibility and accumulating snow. And as you take a look, that's for the southern Wasatch Front and into Utah County. Now, wherever this band of heavier snow sets up, that's where we're going to see the higher accumulations. As that kind of moves through, we do see additional snowfall around 8 p.m. for northern Utah, so Cash Weaver, Davis counties, that's when you'll get snow. By Thursday, high pressure comes back. It's a quick moving storm, not major impacts, but because it happens during that commute time, there's potential. How much is coming? Great question. Valleys could see anywhere from a trace to three inches. Now, where that band sets up, they'll be on the higher end of that, one to four on the benches. Mountain valleys, two to six, three to eight up in the high country. Okay, a little more snow for the mountains. Central mountains could get one to four, but that's kind of where we drop off when it comes to precip. So today, we saw moderate danger for avalanche in the north, considerable for the Wasatch and western Uintas. That could go up wherever we see the heavier snowfall into tomorrow. So keep that in mind if you're going to be recreating. 30s and low 40s in Provo. We've got some 50s down there in Moab, 40s in Cedar City, and 60 in St. George. Well, that sounds pleasant. Let's keep it going. We climb the temperature ladder in Washington County for the next several days. Unsettled for the weekend with the chance of some wet weather. And that storm is actually a warmer one. So it brings a valley rain, mountain snow setup to the north and then straight rain potential for Saturday. Well, that seems more like a spring storm, but don't be too excited because tomorrow we still get that taste of winter. Temperatures do jump, though. We've got some upper 40s, low 50s. 53 is typically where Salt Lake is this time of year, so we'll be closer to that Ooh, for the nice. latter half of the seven day. Nice. Looking good. Nice. Yes, one day at 39, there is 40s and 50s. This is, yeah. a, this is an exciting change. But the time is coming, mm -hmm. folks. It's coming.